What's up everybody? You're watching Urban Adventures. I'm William. Today I have an interesting mix of activities planned for you guys. Uh, you guys get to come along with me to Berkeley to my Jiu Jitsu class uh, today. Uh, it's something I've been wanting to share with you guys for a long while, an intimate part of my culture. I've been doing it for about 13 years and today you guys get to come along see what a class is like. Uh, you might even get a free instructional today and you also get to see everybody's favorite part uh, towards the end of the class uh, sparring when people actually start going at it. So after that, I'm going to meet up with John and we're going to hit up uh, Craft Beer Festival in Concord at Todos Santos Plaza. Uh, yeah, it's going, to be, it's going to be like we're going on a brewery tour. There's going to be over 50 different local breweries there all bringing their A game. Uh, they're going to have live music and food and you guys aren't going to want to miss any of it. Um, yeah, today, right now, I'm just getting my morning started uh, with coffee here at uh, Local in downtown Alameda. Uh, and I was thinking, the only thing that would make today better is if uh, I switched the order of the activities today. If we did the beer before jujitsu, wait, wait, no, hold on, hold on. That would be more entertaining for you. That would suck really bad for me. But, but yeah, it's going to be an interesting day. I'm so stoked to be vlogging again. What better way to do it with jujitsu and beer? Uh, hope you guys have been well. I'm ready to go. Folks at home, if you're ready to go, let's roll out to Berkeley. I just rolled up to Half Gracie Jiu Jitsu right here in South Berkeley on 1500 Ashby Avenue. It's a place I've been coming to for about 13 years. Definitely not the only place I've trained. I've trained at a lot of places. I've trained at over 40 different gyms in the last five years, just traveling and training or meeting people through Jiu Jitsu and going to their gym and, and checking it out. And I will have to say the culture about this place, the vibe here is unique. Uh, it reminds me of the same vibe when you go to a high profile skate park or you're surfing a, a, a local break somewhere. It's like a, a, a tribal family mindset and vibe that's infectious, it's intense, very competitive and perfect for development. Uh, yeah, but let's get inside and let, let, let's get our roll on. What's up y'all? I just want to speak about what Jiu Jitsu has meant for me the last 13 years of my life. Uh, for sure it's a place I come to for physical activity and exercise. Uh, it's a place where I come to for community, people I've known for like 10 plus years. Very strong bonds and relationships I've kept with people, even people who don't, don't train anymore, uh, still uh, close ties with them. But on a deeper level, I, I can think back to the highest and lowest emotional states I'd ever been in the last 13 years, like days where I was emotionally crushed and on the converse side, uh, weeks or times where it seems like there's a bunch of pleasant stuff going on, just getting bombarded with overstimulation. And uh, I would come and train in either of those states and it would just bring me back to a, a state of like not too high or not too low, a state of peace. You might even call it Zen, but it's the well that I continuously return to for spiritual and emotional grounding. And I honestly believe it's not a means of self-defense, but a, a truly a vehicle for human development. That's about as deep as I'm gonna get. Uh, class is about to start. We're gonna start getting sweaty and you guys are gonna get to see some stuff today. my knee right here right on his chest all right so once I get this one and they call Z I want to get my knee here 
I'm pulling, I'm pushing, I'm going to slide my hand down, I'm not going to get a grip because as soon as I get a grip, he knows what I'm going to do. The way to do the submission, hand goes towards his big head. All right? Okay, so if the guy is trying to counter it, and then usually what he's trying to do, he's going to try to go sometimes and get and do this here to get this. All right? So that's the time when he straight that arm, that's the time that I get that, that wrist lock. How for everybody's favorite time in the class, sparring, aka pojada. What's up guys, we're here with Professor Eduardo Fraga, the head coach here at Half Gracie Berkeley, multiple time Pan American medalist. We're gonna just ask him four uh, short questions for interview. Thank you so much for doing that interview, Eduardo. All right, it's an honor to be here talking to you. So the first question is, how long have you been doing Jiu Jitsu? All right, so I, it's funny that I started Jiu Jitsu uh, when I was little, I was six years old. Wow. Uh, it was an after school program. My mom could not pick me up from school, so I had to do a uh, after school pro. Jiu Jitsu was the only option, so I started when I was in first grade, and then I never stopped. So like 30 something years? Oh, that is, I, I'm gonna be 50. So <laughs> you look good, you look good. So 40, did, 40 something years. In your opinion, did the time go by very quick or slow? Oh, that was, you know, um, like for me, I, I've been doing it for 13 years, and uh -huh. I felt like it went by fast, but I saw so many things in the 13 year span. Well, you see, and then, uh, so many things happened on my career, like I, I did MMA, yeah. and then uh, I moved to Rio de Janeiro to train Jiu Jitsu. Wow. And then uh, that was... Um, then you had kids. And, and then I had kids, <laughs> and then um, trips and trips to America to compete yeah. at Pan Am's when I was living in Brazil. Wow. And then there is so many things. And then I actually moved with, with, with my family to be a head instructor here. Yeah. So it, it feels like it was so fast, but you know, it's been a, a while. You've seen a lot of things in that time. A lot of things. A lot All right, of things. next question. Uh, what advice would you give to somebody just starting Jiu Jitsu now? So Jiu Jitsu, it's, um, it's, it's, it's not very easy. No, right? no, so, hell no. <laughs> uh, my, my advice is to so new white belts is like once you step on the mat, the goal is not to get injured. Okay. And I think the injuries is a main thing of people quitting. You know, they don't know what they are doing, and then they put themselves in a positions that they don't know what to do, and then and then there it goes a knee, there so, is a, a shoulder, so there is an elbow. For sure, you think that learning how to train smart is just as important as techniques. Yes. It's a, very important to step on the mat. This is what I tell my white belts. It's very important to step on the mat, but more important is to leave the mat in one piece. Right, because you know, if you can't train, you cannot get better. You cannot get better. Another thing that is, and then this is something that I, I, would, uh, I regret too, is not to have enough time to recover. Of course. One hour of jujitsu, one hour of recovery. Nobody does that. <laughs> yeah, nobody does it. But that is, yeah. well, when, we, when you get older, yeah. you understand much, much, much better how important this is. Yeah. So last question. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I might regret asking you this, but what, what kind of student was uh, I when I was a white belt? Well, so you're not going to regret asking <laughs> that because you... You are a great student. Thank you, Eduardo. No, Thank no, you, Eduardo. He's making me blush right now. You can't see it, but my face is turning red. <laughs> you are a great, a great student. You yeah. were very, very dedicated. I know you had some injuries to deal with, yes. but you kept coming. Today, I, if I have to tell, hey, 
will run this class. I have no problem letting you do that because I trust you. Thank you, you so much, Eduardo. Great, you were a great white belt, and then you're an awesome black belt. Thank you, Eduardo. Yeah, that's it. So if you guys want to learn uh, top grade, A-plus level jiu-jitsu, you come to 1500 Ashby Avenue here, and you're going to get good, hard training. It's not going to be easy, but you're going to love it, and you keep coming back. Thank you, Eduardo. All right, thank you. Yeah. All right, folks, we're wrapping up here at Half Gracie Berkeley. Awesome training session. Yeah, we're going to meet up with John pretty soon and uh, hit up the beer festival in Concord. Hey, what's up, y'all? I just got here to uh, Spring Brews Festival 2023 right here at Todos Santos Plaza, and look who decided to join me. Oh, hey! hey what's up, bro? What's up, bro? Hey, my, my uh, favorite is co-host John Andrew, favorite is uh, code DJ for my live stream and favorite graphic designer. Hey bro, did you get lectured about eating before you started drinking today? I did, I had to eat a whole bunch before I got here. <laughs> man, dude, I just came from Jiu Jitsu, man. You know what I was thinking earlier? It was like, if we swapped the activities orders today and like I did the beer before Jiu Jitsu, mm -hmm. that would have been bad, drunk Jitsu. Or car, or car Jitsu. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. You know, dude, John told me about, there was like this uh, sport called Car Jitsu where these people start grappling, uh, like sitting in the front seat of the car, man. That'd be crazy, but yeah, let's get inside and get ourselves some brew. Let's do it. Thanks. What's up, y'all? I don't know how many beers in we're all. We're, we're in, uh, but then uh, this is from uh, uh, Alvarado Brewing. It's uh, Vengeful, Bar Vengeful Barbarian, 7.2 hazy IPA. Let's give this a go. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, yeah. good. Woo! I like oh this. man, yeah. it's it's hop a little bit hoppy on a on a 10 scale hoppiness, probably like uh, six or seven. Um, it doesn't taste like anything, anything fruity, but it's like it's really crisp. I'll give this uh, eight, eight point two. What do you got? Nine. Nine. Give me a nine. Right. Give me a nine. All right. All right. Yeah. Nine. Woo! Hey, we're here at Armistice Booth. Uh, th they're based out of Richmond. We got their uh, NZ, NZ what? What's it called? Uh... Hey, hey, bro. I don't know, Armani, it's, it's something. A, they're hazy IPA, 7%. Beer. beer. Let's, let's give it's it a go. Beer. Let's give it a go. Beer. Woo! Woo oh, wow. Smooth, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a, oh man. It's not, it's not too bitter. But the band. The band, the band's the band up the hook. is Forest Day. They're amazing. Forest Day, check them out. Check them out. Check them out. Hey, John, what do you give this one? Not an eight. Let's go. Eight, yeah. eight, eight, eight. 8.5. It's called NZ Vacation Hazy IPA, 7%. I'll give this one a, an 8. 8. Woo! Woo! What's up, y'all? We, we just went to 21st Amendment's booth. What'd you get? Oh, man. So, uh, the Blood Orange, right? Blood Orange. Blood Orange yeah. IPA, 7%. And then I got the Heller High Watermelon, Watermelon uh, Wit, minus 4.9. Let's give it a go. Cheers! Woo! Woo! That is crisp, man. That's, that's I like this one. Yeah, th this one, mine, it, it smells like watermelon. It doesn't really taste like watermelon, but I, I don't really think I want it to taste like watermelon. No. You know, but does yours taste like blood orange? It does. It tastes like orange muscat. Mine tastes like, like a sophisticated wheat beer that I could probably drink like two or three pints of this stuff, you know? But uh, I'll give this one a 
7.4. What about you? Mm, hold on. <laughs> a high night. Wait, eight and a half. Eight and a half. You can eight, see all the numbers wait, wait. are all changing because we're getting more faded. <laughs> hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, John and I are done here at the Brew Festival. This was awesome. I can't remember how many, like, three or four ounce beers I've had, but this was the best idea I've had for both of us in, like, the last, like, four months. had fun YouTube watching video. the jiu-jitsu uh, earlier and then the brew festival if you guys enjoyed the content please subscribe like comment share with people you know support local business take care of each other but most importantly take care of yourselves we'll be back at it again see you in toronto the next episode Woo!